How exactly does this work? What are kids doing on Zigazoo? That's correct. Such, such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. Uh, Zigazoo was started out of our own home. Uh, my wife Leah and I have three kids, three boys, and we were trying to figure out at the beginning of the pandemic what to do with them. And we were really bummed out that the only thing you could do with your kids online was basically play a game or watch or oftentimes binge TV, knowing that you know we're going to give our kids a, a bit more of a digital diet during the pandemic. We wanted kids to reach the top of Bloom's taxonomy, which in teaching is creation. You want kids to be creating. And you also, by the way, want them to be creating in a healthy environment with friends. And people thought this was kind of impossible, right? And then we realized that it wasn't uh, impossible and that we could use the construct of project-based learning, uh, which is uh, one of the, the best, uh, based on research, ways to teach kids and give kids purpose in schools. Uh, to basically do challenges. And so we gave kids challenges at the beginning of the pandemic. And now we have everyone from the NBA to Nickelodeon to Coco Melon to today, we just launched a, a Blippi channel on Zigazoo. So all you parents out there, there are all these great challenges that kids can do. It could be something, you know, for Nickelodeon, we had the Gronk on Zigazoo saying, mm -hmm. hey, what would your face look like if you got slimed? And now we have the NBA on uh, asking questions like, what would your best slam dunk look like? And now you're getting into NFTs. What are you teaching kids about NFTs? Sure. So, you know, I, obviously uh, there are a lot of ways to do Web3 wrong. And uh, crypto gets a bad rap, but the reality is that it's the future of the internet. Web3 is Web3 because it's after Web2. And we want to get ahead of the game by providing opportunities for kids to uh, get to know this technology. It has the potential to be a creation-based technology where kids are creating their future and blockchain technologies are more sophisticated and will allow kids to do so. We're giving kids opportunities to do so. We've been able to bring on some of the biggest talent and brands in the world to create their own uh, NFTs. We're giving kids opportunities in contests and otherwise to build art and show them off to their friends. And then we're providing other blockchain technologies that allow kids to be uh, basically creators in their own studio and to uh, really start to think of themselves less as consumers and more as creators in this environment. So I've got four kids and I gotta be honest with you, the thought of my kids on TikTok for kids is a little bit terrifying, let alone my kids in the metaverse. Why shouldn't parents be worried about this? Well, so I think that there are all these vocabulary words that uh, are thrown out there to create fear. And the reality is that 50% uh, of kids are on social media, but they're on social media that you wouldn't want your kid on, right? Social media is here. It's here to stay. It's the language of kids. And so we think the best solution is to create opportunities that are safe, that are educational, that are constructive and to do that in a way that you know really blends the world of education and entertainment. And that's exactly what we've done. We have the highest ratings from Common Sense Media. Uh, we have uh, Safe Harbor from the FTC where KidSafe uh, COPPA certified. And we've been able to create uh, what is really the safe and lovely network of kids creating. It's one of only two platforms that I let my own three kids use. And we are very, very strict about the way Ooh. that we think about uh, technology. What's the other one? <laughs> we let them watch uh, net, net, Netflix for kids. OK, OK. So look, why do you think you can do it better than the other guys? You know, there was a huge outcry when Instagram sure. announced it was going to try to do Instagram for kids, and it's been permanently on pause. So we have built Zigazoo truly ground up uh, for kids, by kids, and you know every single decision in the product is made with kids in mind. Whereas obviously we know that that's not the case with a lot of other social networks. One of the things uh, that we keep hearing, you know, from uh, reviewers of our platform is when we go on Zigazoo, we're stunned by the fact that kids' childhoods are being preserved. There is no commenting and no negativity on our platform. Uh, we have this, uh, these opportunities for kids only to shout each other out. So kids are, are on there being goofy, sharing their funniest jokes, laughing, singing, dancing, being kids. And that's what I'm most proud of is that, you know, at the end of the day, technology is here. 
if we try to prevent kids from using it, it's just not going to work. So what we need to do is give them the guiding principles and the right guardrails to be able to be kids and protect their childhoods in a way that's safe and that allows them to laugh and squeal and be be funny and just be themselves. And we have done that and given kids a lot of confidence in the meantime. What does the NBA bring to the table or the court, I should say? <laughs> so you know, as a as a basketball fan, my 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 dad's a huge basketball fan. I'm a huge basketball fan. Uh, one of the things that um, we love about the NBA is that what the NBA does for kids, and as an educator, I can say this through and through with my experience with kids, is it teaches kids about being a good teammate. Uh, you know, the NBA is about sports and being healthy. Uh, it's about you know fashion and and you know whatever whatever else it might be. It's giving kids confidence, and we think that the values of the NBA are really reflected in Zigazoo as well. Zigazoo is in a, a game you sit on on your couch for hours and hours. It's a, it's a way that you bring you know technology, just like you would Google Maps or your own social media, into the world. It is asking you to do challenges that are active as opposed to passive. And we think that the NBA is a perfect partner in helping to celebrate health, well-being, being healthy, safety, uh, joy, camaraderie, uh, being social but safe. Those are the things that, that we know that the NBA brings. Also, I became a sports fan when I was this age, right? I, I, started, mm. uh, I started becoming um, a fan um, of my favorite sports teams and players then. And uh, the same is true, uh, you know, here. So this is just a, a special way to give kids opportunities to become fans in their medium, right? This isn't, right. My, I'm a millennial, this isn't my medium as much. This is their medium, they're digital natives, they already know what they're doing. And so we're providing a safe opportunity where they're joyful and absolutely love it. And that's why we're growing so fast and we're able to secure such amazing funding.